Let's review the right hand rules, shall we? If the first rule is called the uh, force on a charge right hand rule, and what you do is for that rule is your fingers go in the direction of velocity, you bend your fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, and then your thumb points in the direction of the what? Force. That only works for what sign of charge though? Positive, so if it's a negative charge, you either have to say, okay, it's the exact opposite of that, or you could use your left hand rule. Force on a charge, right hand rule is the first rule. Now, the rule for a force on a wire of length L, that's really the same rule. It's just uh, the current, put your fingers in the direction of current, uh, and L is just the length of the wire. You cross it on the magnetic field direction, and your force on your wire points in the direction of your thumb. So that Force on a charge right hand rule is exactly the same as long as you just remember, okay, it's conventional current, positive current is moving positive charges. The next right hand rule is uh, the direction of the magnetic field due to a current carrying wire. For short, it's called the wire right hand rule. If the current in a wire is flowing this way, how do you figure out what the magnetic field looks like around that wire? You put your thumb in the direction of the current through the wire, and your fingers curl like the magnetic field. So if the, um, if the current's going towards you, the magnetic field would curl around like that. And a uh, magnetic field surrounding a wire is what shape? Circular. Circular. That is called the wire right-hand rule. Now, you can use that to figure out the direction of magnetic field in a coil, but there is a really cool shortcut called the coil right hand rule and all that is you take your fingers let's say the coil the currents in the coil is going around this way if you take your fingers that curl and again only your fingers can curl so that's a hint anything that curls you got to use your curly fingers for that if you curl your fingers around the direction of the current in a coil what does your thumb point to the north magnetic pole of the magnet, which tells you a whole lot of information, tells you which way the magnetic field goes, it tells you uh, what the magnetic field looks outside. If you know where the north pole is, you can figure that out.